got to show people this printer, but you are so crazy. Okay, friends, hold on just a second. I'm trying to do this. This is definitely awkward, right? Let me make sure it's working. Steve is, Steve the cat that hates the podcast, is in rare form today. So, hello. Isn't this such an odd <laughs> position? But how can I do both? You can't switch back and forth. Uh, however, this cat is just a little bit crazy. So let me just pin this Facebook Live, and then we will. <laughs> pin? I gotta do it for my computer. And then we're gonna jump in. I'm just gonna walk through hand model style. Uh, this Munbin printer, yes, there are two here. I'll explain why in just a second. But let me pin this real quick. I'm also live on Instagram. Never done that before. Never done it. Hold on. Make sure it's all cooking with fire. I also, to the Instagram people, I'm so sorry I can't look at what you're writing <laughs> because there's a little bit too much technology going on over here. So uh, let me just print off and we'll jump in. So all I'm gonna do is really just show you kind of what I find that people are struggling with and then just a quick demonstration of it. Here we go. However, this cat, who is currently also directly under this table, is by far the most annoying creature I've ever seen in my life. Right, Fiebert? Right. Right, says Steve the cat, who didn't have to suffer through the podcast this week because we didn't even do one. Okay. Let us... Okay. It seems like it's fine. Okay. Okay. I can't really see questions, but I'll see if I can pull them up on my phone in a minute. Uh, that said, let's kind of dive in here. Everything should be fine, but I have so much technology around me currently that, and this cat, man, I gotta say, I'd like to return this cat and get another cat. That would be ideal. If you guys are having an issue, let me know. Okay. So basically what we have here, I'm just going to get started, is this is a Munbin printer. This is a 300 DPI Munbin printer. DPI dots per inch. Kind of an old newspaper -y print term, but it works. Um, just make sure this is working because I have it pulled up on my iPad and it keeps saying it's interrupted, but I'm going to do kind of the show must go on. If you guys are having issues, let me know. Okay, okay. I think we're good. If we're not, I'm so sorry, kids. This is all I got. I got about 50 things plugged in to make this happen because this mud bin needs to be plugged into your computer. So since I have two, let's demonstrate this adorable pink one. Open. All this does is open this. Here's the feeder tray. This is where your labels have to touch so that this guy knows that there's paper in it. Very um, spotty slide thing. I almost would do this with two hands. Again, model my hand. My model hands only got one. And then you're going to be able to close that here. Here's where your print comes out. And now here's how simple this is. You have power, you have computer, because I don't have the Bluetooth one, so this one's gotta be plugged in, and then on and off, right? So there is a power switch here. This is power supply, power switch. So you can't just plug in here and expect it to go. It's gotta be an on and off thing. So this guy's plugged in. I purposefully didn't feed in the paper because I wanna show you how to do that if you're curious of how this works, but this guy is off. Why can't I pull this up on my phone? Let me go pull you guys up on my phone, make sure I'm not missing anything. Because I feel, I feel like this is glitchy. But, oh, Phoebe's is right on the table, Heather. I'd show you the tail. I'm sure it's going to pop out. <laughs> but just stay there. If anybody has questions why I'm going, I'll tell you everything I know. It's not a ton, but we will keep this going. So, we're going to close this, right? And then we're going to power it on by just this flip of a switch back here. There you go. So this indicator light, it tells you a lot. It's the only way the printer can you know, speak to us. Red means it doesn't think it has paper in it. He is correct. He doesn't have paper in him. It's okay, my bin, I gotcha. So what we're going to do is we have three paper options. I just wanna just talk about these. I bought these on Prime Day through Amazon, through Munbin, but it seems like you can buy this whole thing in a kit, which I wish I, I, wish I had, um, but instead I kind of piecemealed it I didn't really know what I was doing. I just wanted the, the Prime Day deal because someone had posted it and made me panic. So these are three inch circles, three inch hearts, cute, but also quite pigmented. And then we have kind of the go-to OG, these labels. So this is what I kind of feel like this is kind of where this 
succeeds best <laughs> these type of labels this stuff is cute this maybe for like a themed holiday if you were just jumping into this i would say just kind of start with this setup right here uh and that's all you kind of need to go on now <laughs> when you open the mun bin what you get is you get these feels like they gave you something free they did not these are test labels test shipping labels mun bin is great about printing shipping labels which is pretty cool um but what we want to want to i mean that's printing printing shipping labels is kind of boring so what we're going to want to do is use these as my little test case for you guys today and then um we're going to dive in now before i load the paper i know a lot of people have questions i do have an ipad and i pay it uh, but what i want to show you is the age-old question is people says where can you make the labels canva free canva in fact so <laughs> i want to jump into free canva and kind of show you guys uh where to do that i'm not going to build these on canva because i actually don't know how to use an ipad effectively but i just want to show you that i've already made these extremely simply in free canva actually I had to download canva for it on the ipad for this so i was making this for a cookie college class you can kind of see it i got the logo i got <laughs> little cookie emblems some text now can you see everything is black and white okay it's a thermal printer doesn't print in color you don't have to buy cartridges. That's the good and bad of it. So if you're thinking like, oh, I just upload my colored logo, it's going to come out, actually, it's going to come out like this. Hi, <laughs> I look very weird on. If you're wondering if this is a very short table, yes, you're correct, it's a table I haven't extended the legs of because I felt more prepared being closer to the ground. So let me just zoom in on this example real quick. This is what I was trying to print. Frick. Just brighten that one up a bit. Excuse me, iPad people. You and your Apple products. So this, can you see barely colored print? That's what my test was, and here's what it came looking like. So you can see that none of the big text came out. Blotchy, it's not a colored printer. Don't try to make it one. Okay, cool. So. I'm going to have to actually get behind the computer after this, but let's load in the paper and I want to show you how to do this. This is what I think people make a huge mistake on. Um, two huge mistakes I usually see is kind of this loading of the paper because they skip one step. So what we're going to do is we're going to feed this right under here, gently, both hands, slide this in here. Now this wasn't included, this feeder, neither were the, these smaller labels. I did buy this, all of it is mud bin. And then we want to make sure, like I said, these touch this black feeder thing and we're gonna close it. You're gonna think that's all you needed to do, but here's what the Munbin website says 30 million times. Long press this green button until you hear a single beep. See, it was, it like takes oddly just a little longer than you think it should. And then it wastes two of them. That's what it says it does. <laughs> it just, it wastes them and such is our life. So I'm gonna jump over to the computer. I'm gonna take my speaker with me and I'm gonna press print. You guys still have the printer view. Cool, cool. Okay, and now we're going to print this. Oh look, other people struggling with Apple as well. And I can read your guys' comments. Elise T says, Heather, you're on IG. You aren't showing it to the camera. No, I'm so sorry guys. There's a separate camera for Instagram. Hi people, <laughs> but uh, I can't see the other side. So that was my first wild and thing. I'm sorry, Instagram people that are taking a back seat to Facebook people is my problem. But let's go. What you can see is I'm actually going to pull up the print I just showed you guys. So again, I have a two and a half uh, by 2.25 by 1.25. So that's important is that the size is always correct. Where are you, little guy? Oh my goodness, I have so many of these on my desktop. Let me just grab the right one. Okay, I'm gonna click print. I'm so sorry you guys can't see this part. You can't switch on a computer from, you know, screen share. It's just a Facebook limitation. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just print off five of these. Sending it over there in three, two, one. And let's check. Okay, hold on, hold on Instagram people. Hold on Instagram, There, you, there you go. There you go, friends. So here we have right here in Instagram. This is my first Instagram live. Here, I'm gonna show this to Facebook camera first. Let me refocus. Facebook camera, try buddy, try buddy. So we have these. 
You see how simple that was? We have the wasted alignment. Here's the thing, you might be thinking, okay, that's such a waste. Let me make sure that the Instagram people can see. There you go. So I wanna show you, <laughs> I wanna show you guys, can we all see? Is that it came down pretty close to the bottom. It didn't come perfectly close to the top. Like it's cut off, so you're not gonna wanna get close to these bleed edges. But you can see the quality, hold on, I'm gonna show it to both cameras. You can see the quality, you can see the instant stick. You can probably see feed right there. And then we have for my Facebook people, here you go. Here's the quality that we're looking at. Again, instantly dry and a sticker that way. So, squeegee this guy back. I'm gonna print that label that I showed you guys in Canva. Let me just pull up Canva again, sorry. Running about 30 applications at the same time. But it is fine, it is fine. So let's pull up this guy. If you guys have any questions, I got you pulled off to the left. I see one question. Can you use any kind of thermal labels or just the ones for Munbin? Melanie, there's so many different options and Munbin kind of said, hey, use whatever. As long as Munbin has the drop down to show you the size option, the only important part is when you go to press print, you tell it to go to the correct size option. So uh, Lily says, can there be clear labels used with this printer? Great question. None that I've seen clear. Let me just do a quick Google search. Clear thermal, clear, not too many softwares running, clear, thermal, labels. I'm going to guess no, though, because of the way this, it has to be this treated paper. If anyone has an answer, please let me know. But in the meantime, while my mouse decides to work, I'm just going to create another quick design here. So what we're going to do is download this thing give me just a second uh here's the one thing that i found that munbin was like hey really try to print as a pdf don't try it as anything else but a pdf so okay cool so trying to print it as something that's not a pdf seems to be not very compatible with this where is my print okay i'm gonna try to print that one i just showed you guys with the cookie background let's print off 10 of these one two three and go Oh, I only printed one. I'm sorry. <laughs> 10. Excuse me. So you see how when you leave it set up like this, you can just kind of churn and burn through these versus having to waste it every time we switch the labels over. So the switching of the labels is a waste point. It's not the favorite waste point. Uh, but it, it, I mean, it's pretty neat. Tracy says, will you always have the extra wasted labels at the beginning? Tracy, great question. That's just what I wanted to address is you're only going to have the wasted labels when you add in this new paper. So what I'm going to do is we're going to switch over to the circle labels. Again, sorry, you guys have to painfully watch this, but if you want a mud bin, you'll thank me later. So what I'm going to do is take this out and rip this off. Excuse me, excuse me. Take that out. This lifts right up. I'm going to say this contraption right here is pretty pretty cheapy. I gotta say it was $20 and I linked in the Facebook Live kind of the products that I used here in this Facebook Live. This thing was $20 this year. I don't get how I could use it otherwise, um, but hey, it works, right? So here we're gonna load this in here. I think this is fun. Excuse me why I use the strength of Hercules to get this on. Somebody there is crying saying I'm doing this wrong. And that is expected. I'm clueless. Ugh. Okay, and then we're going to load this right here. And a little tape right here to keep it from unrolling. Ever so gently. Ever so gently. And then we're going to load it. So again, loading the paper. I'm going to extend these. Use both hands for pressure. Otherwise, it feels like it could break. You want to make sure that this first label touches the black feeder roll and then just nicely gently align this up i think if this isn't lined up very well you're going to have some bigger issues so just do that remember close you think that's it but this is what it told you it said long press okay there we go so 
I think it was Tracy's question. Did it just waste these four? Yes, it did. But if I just left this setup always set up this way, I wouldn't be wasting them because it wouldn't need to do that every time I switched. Okay, okay. Let me go back. I'm so sorry you guys can't see my screen, but I'm just going to grab another print and we're going to throw it in here. Three inch circle. So same background. Keep in mind, if you guys are, if you actually have these three inch circles, you're actually going to print a square and you're just going to have to understand that it's going to cut off. Let's print three of, three of these in one, two, three. Okay, well, let me pull up your questions. I feel like I'm running around with a chicken with my head cut off, <laughs> but such is life, right? Okay, now these I have, oh, my mistake. Let's, let me, let me use myself as an example of what not to do. What I forgot in my haste was to reset the size. I, I, I got everything's right, but I forgot to tell my computer that I've actually switched the size of the print. So let's go run and do that. So again, these are, sorry, I'm shouting, it's three by three, so we're gonna wanna do three by three, and then we're gonna print three of these. One, two, three. Tracy says she knows how to do it without waste. I think, Tracy, after you load them, if I didn't press the calibration button, isn't the calibration, I'm so curious, please teach me your ways, isn't the calibration is what's wasting it? Because it kind of said it in the instructions that it's going to always kind of feed two through. So here we go circle again i designed it in canva as a square just a quick and dirty design uh, and it printed all the way to the edge nice black crisp uh, these are slightly faded but you can see that the printer doesn't care it printed them all pretty solidly there's no color here or anything so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to print color i just want to demonstrate how little this printer likes color let me grab you guys my speaker Tracy's gonna sign up to do a Facebook Live, right, Tracy? Hold on, let me send you that link, bud. <laughs> www.sugarcookiemarketing.com. Where's that life? Yeah, I would love to see professional Munbinner teach me their ways. So I've actually designed this label upside down. <laughs> I wanted to test something else. So what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna just drag and drop it over here, print. And the settings are correct, so let's go and print a colored label. So again, this printer doesn't want to print in color. I just told it to print in color. What do you think is going to happen? Just like I showed you, this is the same print. Got, got nothing there at the top. Little face, little, my Instagram bros. Let me show you what this looks like. Uh, the print was supposed to look like this. So kind of get a vibe. You see that, that top side so light ended up with absolutely nothing there. Do I think this printer is super cool? I'm gonna have to say, yeah, I think it is super cool. Uh, the benefit of it, no print, no ink, no print, no print ink, which is, I just looked up my HP over there, which is the printer from hell. Uh, each cartridge, each XL cartridge cost me about $49, $41, something like that. Um, this, outside of the cost of this, it's gonna cost you, Three cents. Each one of these is three cents. Again, I did waste plenty of them. My fault. <laughs> Let me cry so you don't have to. I did buy this Munbin during Prime Day. Somebody else said they found a coupon code that got it down to $100. I paid $155. It seems like Munbin does a lot of the Prime Day deals. Currently, I think this one is around $180. But when I clicked to the website and then clicked away, I got hit with a discount code for $25. So it seems like they're constantly running promos. They sell this as a kit as well. So I thought that was pretty neat. Let me check your guys' questions and comments. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Tracy's going to teach us in a Facebook Live how to do it a little better, though. Me stumbling around on an iPad. It's, like, hard to run around and do all this. Selena said, the picture quality is blurry for me. It looks great on IG. Yeah, I'm going to assume it's just this camera. It's hard to focus. I can't be running 350 things at the same time. Sorry about that, guys. What fonts do you do? Mine always come pixelated with plain fonts. Um, Kathy, these fonts were the default fonts in Canva free. Uh, I'll say that the small font, it's thin, but the thick font looks absolutely fine. Again, this is the 300 DPI model. There you guys go. 
don't know if I can focus there. Focusing, focusing. But let me go back. I do have two of them. Jody, the reason I have two is because I was supposed to do for the Cookie College a comparison of a 300 DPI and a 203 DPI version. So that's kind of the reason why my computer didn't want to acknowledge that there's two mun bins, so I'll have to hook this up to a laptop. Corey said the cam. Corey, what? You gotta add more words. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, I think that is it. I mean, I'm not a munbin. It got better with your clutching. Way to go. Refocus the camera. And then I'm doing 30 core. Get your butt over here so we can do this together and you can do the refocus. I'm sweating. But I think that covers it. That's the Munbin 101. In the Cookie College, I taught everyone like how to actually print. That seems to be the most frustrating part is the print quality. From what I can see, it's people, uh, when you go to export from Canva, do PDF print. Not PDF. Not JPEG, not PNG, select PDF print. It's going to be a higher quality. I'm worried about mine. Is it 180 DPI or 150? Jody, from what I can see from their website, there is no option for 180 or 150. It was either 203 or 300. That's currently what I see. I didn't see any other options for that. I think that is it, guys. I got to go actually jump in and teach a Facebook Live in the Cookie College about the Cookie College. Uh, so I hope that answers some of your questions. I'll see you guys. If you have questions, you can pass them on to Tracy. She knows it more than I do. So, bye Instagram people. Bye my Instagram people. Boop. And then bye my Facebook people. <laughs> Thank you guys for your patience. I'm never doing a double live again.